Welcome to the weekly Elder Scrolls Online market update, bringing you the latest in what's hot in the in-game economy of ESO and helping you prepare for upcoming events and changes. I'm your host, J. Hart Ellis. The broad market continues to slump between major updates, though Midyear Mayhem this week is expected to draw in more PvPers, who are, of course, notoriously strapped for gold. So don't expect a huge bounce in your sales unless you're selling DTEC bots to all the would-be Nightblade hunters. The Midyear Mayhem event is running July 26th through August 6th. This has double AP, so you can more easily rank up in the Alliance War, earn more skill points, and buy more stuff to sell. Reward boxes will have a chance to drop Alliance-themed and Akaviri-style motifs, so expect the price of these to crash. At least a little bit. Based on a basket of sales information spanning many zones on the PC NA server, legendary materials are trading flat to lower this week. Tempering Alloy continues to fall and is down another 2% this week to 5,000 gold. This is a key psychological level, so it's likely the price will stay around there for a bit. Though, after Wolf Hunter, Alloy may well continue to fall as more people harvest blacksmithing nodes hoping to get the occasional jewelry dust. Direct Wax is trading flat this week, itself being stuck at around 4,000 gold. Rosin is still holding steady at 2,400 gold, and Kuda is also stable at 2,300 gold. PTS incremental patches have so far not had as many gear balance changes as expected, so it's looking more and more like Wolf Hunter will not lead to mass re-gearing, nor a surge of demand for upgrade materials. We'll continue to pay close attention to the incremental patches going into Wolf Hunter in the next couple weeks. The jewelry market doesn't quite know what to make of the announced changes to jewelry upgrade costs. Zircon plating is still stable at around 21,000 gold, while chromium plating prices have fallen sharply on light volume, down below 70k each now. With Wolf Hunter, jewelry upgrades will now only require 1 turn plating, 2 iridium, 3 zircon, and 4 chromium plating. In the no players, all well, 10 of them, are holding off on upgrading until the update. In the rip voucher market, basic crafting stations are still selling for about 900 to 1000 gold per rip voucher. Do expect the entire rip voucher market to be pressured by the new jewelry crafting sealed rips that will reward hundreds of rip vouchers at a time, adding tremendously to the supply. Though, hopefully this change will finally give players a reason to collect all the attunable jewelry stations. In the Alliance Points market, Dom Prism is, surprisingly, holding steady at around 17,000 gold, indicating a ratio of about 6 AP per 1 gold. As Midyear Mayhem rolls out, expect the value of AP to at least temporarily drop as PvPers scramble to outsloads each other for maximum AP. In the gear market, based on recent sales, the most valuable sets include Mother Sorrow, Elfbane, Ravager, Queen's Elegance, Briarheart, Silks of the Sun, Healer's Habit, Transmutation, Spinners, and Necropotence. There's been a bit of a buying frenzy for Cyrodiil's Ward in anticipation of upcoming set reworks. There have also been several sales for Marksman one-handed and two-handed weapons, which might seem a bit weird for a bow set, but there's still demand for PvP with the event coming up. These don't drop at all anymore, so do check your inventory if you might have any of these from way back. In emerging markets, new tradable style pages for Alambrous Shoulders and Masks have recently been added. These can be farmed by running Vet Crypt of Hearts 1 and by redeeming Undaunted Keys at Redbeard's Chest. These will be available for a limited time only, which means for the next five weeks. So get them now-ish. This is a perfect look that says, Hey ladies, I'm available. We'll continue to scour PTS incremental patches each week for changes before Wolf Hunter goes live. There may yet be some changes with big market impacts. If you like this information and find it useful, be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube, and link the video in your guild's Discord if you have one. I'd also invite you to follow me on Twitter, at jhartellis, and on Twitch, slash jhartellis. 
Now go out and make lots of gold. <laughs>